What's good, good JD, JD fam? fam? Welcome back to another live video. You did, did, dig. If this is your first time ever watching our channel, make sure you guys press that subscribe button right now. You know what I'm saying? Also, make sure you guys have your post notifications turned on so you guys never miss when we post. Because why? Because we post bangers every other day. Every Sorry, other my day. mind went blank for a second. It is really early right now, guys. Yes. Well, it's actually not that early, but you know when you just wake up, and you just have like a different look to you. Yeah, that's a, that like ugly look. Yeah, I'm going to get a haircut right. <laughs> what after we this. have going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh cut Fridays. Yes. What can I say? Today is a beautiful morning. We are all blessed to be here and yes. be thriving. So we decided to sit down with you guys, have a little coffee and bagel, and you know, chat. Chat yeah. about some real stuff. With a bagel. Okay. I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start eating my food. I'm not gonna so lie. So much to do. I don't know if I should um, spread my bagel first or should we just get straight into it? I think we should get straight into straight it. Straight into it. Okay, so basically, I asked you guys on Instagram to send in some questions. So if you are not following us on Instagram, you're missing out on opportunities to, you know, interact, be in the videos and all that good stuff. So, so make sure you guys go follow us. You know what I'm saying? Mine is HG. Juju. And I'm Des Ariana. So go follow us right now. Yes, we changed our Instagram names a few months ago, like a month ago. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Grandma, you can't have the movie on at all in the background. <laughs> She's just playing. We're well, having technical difficulties right now. She's just playing. Right We're watching a movie. Grandma's in the back watching a movie. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the first question. Somebody asked, how expensive is it to live in LA? Woo! That's a great it's a question. It's a funny starter question, babe. That's a, I mean, it's a great question, you know what I'm saying, to start off the morning. Yep, start off your morning, think, oh, because you know what, I saw a quote today, and it said something about like, if you think prosperous thoughts, like prosperity's gonna come. If you think mm -hmm. happy thoughts, happiness, it's, it's gonna, gonna come. come like you have to have that successful positive it. mindset you know and saying? it will come because if you're thinking negatively you're not gonna attract anything positive into your life okay then. Law of attraction. yep law of attraction there you go <laughs> but not to live in LA there's places that are expensive and then there's places that are like still expensive but in la a little bit more affordable yeah a little bit more affordable but everything honestly in la is expensive like there's nowhere you're gonna go where you're gonna get an apartment for sixteen, fifteen hundred. Like that's like the minimum you're gonna be starting at for like for a like one a bedroom. studio. It's hard to even find. Yeah, that. studio, studio. You could probably get a studio for around like twelve hundred. No, not anymore, really. Yeah, probably not anymore. But like when I had my studio, it was like around like twelve hundred or thirteen or something like that. I'm not sure. But uh, I just know for a fact that like LA is super expensive, like compared to anywhere else, like Arizona, Texas. Yeah, well, it's like obviously that. one of the most expensive places to live in the country, besides New York City and like San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Right? Those are like the top three expensive places, I think. And so if you come into LA, make sure you have a plan because yes. no lie, this is hard out. There's a lot of ways you can spend money out here. You can literally go spend money and like you don't even think you're it's spending crazy. money. It's crazy. Yeah, sometimes we think about it. We're like, if we live somewhere else, do you know how much money we would be saving? Way, like, Oof. way, way more. It would be crazy. But you know what? It makes you like kind of always strive for more. Keep mm -hmm. you know trying to push. Keep going and pushing. You don't. You never want to like going. stay stagnant out here. That's There's true. always room to grow. Hundred percent true. Going off of that theme, the next question is: This is a juicy one, babe. Ready? Mm -hmm. They want to know the tea. <laughs> Do you guys have six figures in your bank account? Oh, <laughs> Juju, do you have six figures in your bank account? Juju does have six <laughs> figures in his bank account. You know what I'm saying? Juju yes. does, Des does. We are very blessed to yes. have, well, we've been working very, very hard, guys, and we've been trying to save up so much for a house. That's so, really our so goal. That's like literally our goal right now. We are in the process of not really spending a lot of money like trying to cut down on eating out 
you know what I'm saying, shopping and doing all this extra stuff that we don't need to do so we can save up more money so we can buy a house sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, that's our goal right now, like just buying a house. Like imagine you just waking up and like knowing like this is my house. If I want to do something to this house today, I can do it. Like if I want to make a project, like build a gym, build a skate park, whatever I want to do, you know what I'm saying? You could do that. Not saying I'm going to build a skate park or nothing, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Build a skate park? Yeah, like you get to do whatever you want. So that's like the cool, I feel like that's the coolest thing. Like you just being able to do whatever you want and it's your house. Like you can literally say, no, this is my house. I can build a fence Oh my gosh, like to. imagine the projects. Just you saying build a skate park. I know one day you're gonna come to me with some crazy idea like that. Hey, hey guys, oh just know goodness. when we move, when we move, like we're gonna be getting like, like, the house house like it's gonna be our house because we're gonna be buying it but yeah he was showing me the other day somebody that had like a skate thing yeah, in a, a ramp like he had a little ramp house. he had a ramp in his house but see me he's I was like how dope is this and i'm yeah. like we are never doing that yeah ever. No, I, I like my house like a little bit more homey so i would definitely leave it up to you but like the outside projects and stuff we might be getting a basketball court because i already know the house is going to come with the pool but <laughs> basketball court for sure that's mandatory you know what I'm saying? So, to answer your question, ultimately, yes, we each do have six over six figures in our bank account, and we are saving we are. up to buy mm -hmm. our dream home. And we are so blessed and so thankful yes, we, for everything it's, that it's, God has blessed us with and that you guys have helped us achieve. All right, guys, the next question is, do y'all have any beef with any other YouTubers? Ooh. No. We don't have any beef with any other YouTubers. Honestly, like, I wasn't as positive of a person as I am now. Thank you to Destiny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she really helped me, like, mellow down, be, like, more chill. Yeah. Like, me, I used to be a hothead. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Anything would trigger me, and I would just get so mad and just be yeah. ready, like, to, you know what I'm saying? Like. And me, I'm such a crybaby. I'm such a sensitive, emotional person yes. that, like, and I hate conflict so bad, like it stresses me out. I will cry over any type of conflict because it's just like, I just don't like dealing with it. Yeah. So I'm way too much of a sensitive person to even like allow any type of beef into my energy. Yeah, she's <laughs> like very like positive and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I'm so blessed to have her because she made me become like a more positive person. I used to be just bad, like hot. I didn't care, like, you know what I'm saying? I was just reckless, not caring, whatever. <laughs> but now I do care. And to answer your guys' questions, no, we do not have any beef with any YouTubers. Um, us, beef over here. Yeah, us as a couple, we want to try to spread as much positivity, as much, you know what I'm saying, good vibes as possible, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. We just love positivity and good vibes. That's how we go about our day, you did. The next question is, does it bother Julius how you dress? You always look good, some men don't like that. Um, Me, personally, I don't really care how she dress, you know what I'm saying? Just there's certain environments where you gotta know, like, what to put on and what not to put on, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> But other than that, but I don't does care. it bother you? No, it doesn't bother my me. My dress, because people always like every time I post Instagram pictures. No, it does not bother. People me. are like, how could you let your girl walk out the no. house like that? It doesn't bother me at all. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like I don't really care, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. Confident man. I'm a confident man, and I got them things on me. So if somebody wants to say so, you know, I got a right and yeah. I got a left. Well, can I just say, oh yeah. my gosh, I freaking hate when people talk about how somebody else dresses, like. I have never been that, like somebody can be wearing damn near nothing and I will not care. That's their business. Like mm -hmm. that's how they want to dress. That's how they feel confident. That's, you know, like let them live. Everybody's yeah. different. You may feel confident, completely covered up. That's she true. may feel confident, you know, showing a little more. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own respect. style. Yeah. I feel like everybody has their own style. So don't judge you know anybody because the person that you're judging could easily turn around and judge you exactly. for how you dress and you probably wouldn't like it exactly so, so look hey if you got your own style don't let nobody tell hey don't let nobody tell you anything you got your own style swag it out you know what i'm saying <laughs> me i got that drip so you know when i walk in people are looking at me like oh my god he's dripping why don't people ever ask me if it bothers me how you dress 
I dress normal. I just wear some jeans. I dress and normal too. A t shirt, and that's it, you know? Next question is. You said once that you wanted to wait until you're 30 to get married or have kids. Still true? Question mark? That is false because, you know what I'm saying, I grew up. Well, oh. you never said that. I oh. said, well, I never said false. I wanted to wait till 30 you know to get what I'm married. Saying? I said I wanted to wait till 30 to have kids, but I will say now it's kind of different. You know what I realized today? I woke up and it was my time of the month. Uh -oh. So, you know, before it would be like, ooh, every girl's like, yep. Got it, okay, we good. But now it's kinda like, oh, okay. You know? Uh, snap, <laughs> you guys hear that live right now here first. But we you are not it. actively trying. Grandma missed it because she's on her phone. Trying. She didn't even hear what, what she just it? said. She just said that she wants to have a baby No, right I now. did not say that. She, she says she wants to have a baby right yeah. now. Yeah. All right guys, the next question is, what is the most expensive thing you've ever bought? The most expensive thing that I've ever bought in one day would have to be, like, it would have to be going shopping or I something. I know, like a car. Well, a car, yeah, obviously, okay, so we bought our Mercedes, so no, we our bought that. Over. Okay, well, but technically, we do make payments on that, so that's not, wasn't just like we paid the whole thing in one. True. So what's like the most expensive thing we've ever That's just- That's what I was gonna say. I boom, think the most expensive one. thing that we ever like spent Probably money on- Probably taxes. Either taxes, taxes yeah, is for sure. So Expensive. For oh sure, probably God. taxes at one time. We paid all our taxes at one time. That was very expensive. What else? Another time where we spent a lot of money would have to be like us shopping like on Rodale Drive or something. Like when we went. Probably a pair of shoes that you bought. Like probably your most expensive. Maybe, honestly, no. Honestly, maybe it's a pair of shoes oh, that your watches. I bought. You know what I'm saying? Or your jewelry, your chain. Jewelry, yeah. I don't know, guys. It's a lot of stuff. It could be jewelry. It could <laughs> be watch. It could be shopping. It could be a lot of stuff. So. Yeah. Well, we did make big purchase on like a stock. Yeah, stock. One, so stock. yeah, we put some money in some stock. So I mean, there's a lot of big purchases, but I would probably have to say like the biggest purchase would have to be probably around like what, like twenty. We don't make huge purchases yeah. really. Yeah. Our biggest purchase will be our house. Exactly. And that's going to so be coming soon. So stay tuned for that and we'll update you on our most expensive purchase and you will get to view it. You are out. <laughs> the next question is, why don't you guys ever show Julia's parents? Well, one, we live in Los Angeles. Like, my parents live in Washington. That's like super far. Well, it's not super, like super, super far, but we only show yeah, them like, when we do go over there. Exactly. Or sometimes when we go over there, we don't show them because yeah, obviously. We'd be trying to spend time yeah. and like chill and stuff like that. But I haven't been to Washington in a long time. Probably going to be going back soon to see my grandpa and stuff. So, uh, yeah, his be grandpa lady. moved to Washington, so we definitely got to go take a trip there. But you guys have seen his grandpa a lot. Yeah, you guys definitely seen my grandpa And they've met your mom before, yeah, too. you guys met my mom. You guys, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to be going to Washington soon. You guys will be seeing my grandpa and my siblings and everybody on our channel. You dig? The next question is, is Julius always trying to get you pregnant? Somebody uh, And somebody also asked if you practice. Never mind. If I practice what? Never mind, go. Okay, answer. guys, I don't know. Okay, so you am I always trying that. to get her pregnant? Um, no. <laughs> That's um, kind of a weird that question. That is a weird question. But, uh, <laughs> you know, when it happens, it happens. I'm going to be the number one father <laughs> of the world. I'm number one father, father of the world. Superhero father over here, you know what I'm saying? I'm not playing around. <laughs> you guys are gonna be seeing me. Be are you real. gonna be a protective dad? Yeah, most definitely. Or most like, definitely. Are you gonna be the disciplinary parent? The I'm gonna be the, the parent, parent where it's like I'm super, super fun. Or the and I'm friend. Playing. You're gonna be the friend parent. No, I'm gonna be like friend. Obviously, I'm gonna be You're everything. Gonna be the friend parent? Everything to my kid. I'm gonna be friend. I'm gonna be their parent first and foremost. I'm gonna be their friend. I'm gonna be there for them for everything. You know what I'm saying? Just everything. Who do you think's gonna yeah. be more of a strict Him parent? or her? Me or you? Who's Most gonna be definitely, scared? you're gonna be the more scared, like, scared. Oh my God, man. No, we can't do this. No, she or he cannot go there. No, no, no. I'm gonna be like, babe, it's okay. I'm the more cautious parent. Hey, yeah, because like, it's okay. He was we talking about the other day, like, 
Yeah, I'm gonna let our kids go and like, like yeah, they're um, gonna be able to go, go this place with their friends, go spend yeah, the night like, over here, like over there. Wanna... I'm like, well, we're gonna be a little bit selective. No, we're not just gonna... yeah, for sure. No, I know that, but I'm saying like, you know, if, if... No spending the night. Yeah, no, we spending the night. No, grandma. we spending the night. I don't want them to spend if my, the night. If my, if my, oh, spending the night. <laughs> you guys don't get it. That's insider. <laughs> but seriously though, my kids, they're gonna be very great kids, and honestly. I think it's time we, <laughs> we should just start trying. Cause that, it just gets me in the mood to talk like about it. Cause I'm sitting here thinking like, damn, like I'm gonna be a great father. Sometimes I'm gonna... he just randomly pops on. He's like, when we have a kid, it's gonna, it's gonna be da da da. Yeah, like, you know I'm, what I'm, like, like oh I'm my gonna gosh. be a great father. Like I have a lot of love to give. Like yeah, I could, I have you know, a lot what of saying? love to give too. I just can't wait to give my like just. Everything we but get it's to. It's gonna be stressful. Yes, it's gonna be stressful, but it's, it's okay stressful. though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, you guys know what that means. The last and final question is going off of that little same topic: Are you on birth control? I'm not on birth control. Okay. No. Here's your answer, guys. He is not on birth control. I'm not on birth control. Next question. No, I'm just. Playing. <laughs> Go ahead, just kidding, guys. You want to know if I am on birth control? Well. You know, it's weird to answer this on camera because it's like a very, very personal thing for a girl to say. True. Um, but I am not on birth control. She is not currently. on birth control. Guys. I'm not currently on birth control, guys. So and yeah, the means... reason for that is just because I just don't really want to be on birth control right now. Like, I've had, you know, a couple experiences where it's just didn't really sit right with my body, so I just decided to not take it. Plus, I do want to have kids within the next couple of years, so I don't want to be on birth control because you know you kind of want to give your body time to be off of it yeah, for a while true. before 100%. you do start actively trying to have kids. So, yeah. I'm not on birth control because I'd rather just have a baby rather than uh -oh, deal guys. with all the side hey, effects. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys know what that means. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm that, I'm, we're not like actively trying though. Well, hold on, babe. Listen. Oh my goodness, what was that? Diggy, don't ever do you that again on camera. Diggy Julius. just farted on camera, guys. Sorry. Diggy is asleep. Diggy is sleeping, but he farted in his sleep. But look, guys, on that note, you know what I'm saying? Yes, she is not on birth control. Yes, she is not. You know what I'm saying? I just had to trick him a little bit, a little mind trick. Yes, she is not. I feel on like birth I can't control. breathe right now because I'm going to smell something and Man. I'm going to be very annoyed. So. You, if you smelled it, then you dealt it. What are you talking about? I don't even know. Oh my smell gosh, nothing. does anybody ever feel like you can't breathe in through your mouth when somebody farts around you? Because that is just a gross thought. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, guys, so she's definitely lying to you because she definitely <laughs> slurps all of them out of my butt. But it's okay, guys. On that note, um, no, she's not on birth control. Wait, how do you feel about it? So I feel. Don't try to shorten their answer. So I feel like mm, she's not on birth control, and that's very good because you know what I'm saying. Like we're at that's the point. That's very good. Yes, we're at the point in our life where it's like we're growing, we're getting older, we're expanding everything we're doing and stuff like that. And if we end up having a baby, then that's just what it is. And you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna be very, very happy because I'm gonna be a. The father of the world, like I swear to God, like I'm gonna be the the greatest father that I could possibly and what about be. Me? And she's gonna be the greatest mother that she could possibly be. So we're gonna be the greatest family that we could possibly be. The you greatest know what I'm parents? The greatest we're parents. We're gonna be parents and think he's gonna be a brother. Yep. I honestly think it's a blessing because you but know But I'm not gonna talk to our kids like that. One actually. of these days, you know what I'm saying, we just gonna pop on YouTube and you guys are gonna be like Oh my God, they're having a baby. And then it's just gonna be a whole big baby journey and you guys are gonna see the whole thing. And honestly, I cannot wait for you guys to witness everything because it's gonna be fun and there's just a lot of stuff to do. So uh, on that note, we ain't even gonna talk about it no more. We ain't even gonna talk about it until Imagine the it happens. Imagine the first Halloween with the baby. We're gonna yeah. get to dress them as like a exactly. little- Exactly. Cute stuff, we get to do cute stuff. We get to do family stuff. We get to go on little family trips to like Big Bear, all that stuff. Just cute, oh, okay. Cute yeah, little you're gonna fun put stuff. Our kids my, in the at one, year, at one like years old, my son snowboarding down the mountain. Walking. One years old, he's snowboarding down the mountain, <laughs> or she's snowboarding down the mountain. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be lit, guys. I know you guys are ready, cause uh, we might be ready too. But look, babe, we go at your pace. You know what I'm saying? We go at our pace, actually, uh -huh. cause we're a team. So you know what I'm saying, babe? Look, I got I gotta tell a secret, so don't listen. Don't listen. I know you're trying to listen, so stop trying to listen right here. Don't put move your ear. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot stop.
understand okay, you. Guys, so there we go. You know what, what I'm is saying? wrong with you? <laughs> One eternity later. <laughs> Just tell them what you really said. Guys, I had to tell her a secret. <laughs> I cannot stand I had to tell you. Her. Okay, how about this? What do you Matter comment fact, down below what you guys think? Yeah, today. hey, comment below. We'll I tell you guys. I you, you will not get it right. We'll, we'll tell you guys in our next video what I wish for Tara. But $1, look, $1,000 to the person who no, wish it right. No, uh, yeah, $1,000. $1,000, somebody might actually get it right. $1,000 to whoever can get it right right now. Go comment below <laughs> and let us know what I wish for Tara. You know what I'm saying? But on that note, we're going to end the video right here. <laughs> it's about to get the audio yeah. so much. And like, You're, If you guys get this, you guys are real like. Like, Detectives, some yes. go work for the FBI. Some what's that one? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock. Nancy you know Drew. Nancy Drew. But uh, on that note, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. We try to answer some a little bit of juicy questions. If you guys want a part two, maybe we add Grandma in it or something. I don't know. Who yeah. knows? You know what Grandma I'm saying? Grandma extended her ticket. Yeah, she extended her ticket, so she's staying a little bit longer. So make sure all you guys comment below. Let us know if you guys want a part two. We can add Grandma in it. You know what I'm saying? We can add a little twist to it. Make sure Breakfast you guys comment. With Grandma. Yes. And let's get this video to 30,000 thumbs ups. You know what I'm saying? And we definitely are doing a part two. You dig? But on that note, we love you guys so much. And we'll see you guys in our next video. You dig? We're out of here. Peace. Hola, me llamo Julio. <laughs> Hola, soy Dora. Ah, uh, si, sí, si. Sí. ¿Y tú? Eh, Tacoma, Washington. No me gusta tocar un Washington. Oh. Eh, sí, sí. Uh, mucho. Sí, sí, mucho. Mucho don't like it. Mucho don't like it. Don't like it.